morning everyone welcome to Rhapsody of Reality Space to Work today is 22nd today is Friday July 2022 and happy weekend to you this week has been a success isn't it so before we start this beautiful Friday morning let's pray together Father we thank you we honor you we appreciate you for who you are we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your protection we thank you for your blessings upon our lives. We thank you for your grace that has lifted us above our contemporaries. Thank you, Father, for fighting our battles and we will our peace. Thank you for liberating our soul, because he that the master has set free is free indeed. We gather this morning to study your world, to grow in your world spiritually and physically. As we meditate on your world, we thank you for understanding of your word for in Jesus mighty name we pray amen praise the Lord hallelujah once more welcome to Rhapsody of Realities and today's topic is complete prosperity praise the Lord complete prosperity Third John 1 verse 2 says beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. Praise the Lord. That's 3 John 1 verse 2. Today's study begins with this amazing verse that clearly reflects the mind of God for you. Remember the Bible says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 3 16. Therefore, more than anything else, God wish, His desire, His will, and His plan is that you prosper. I know some Christians have problems with the teaching on prosperity. Well, third John 1 verse 2 proves God is interested in your complete prosperity. Material prosperity, the physical or bodily prosperity, and the prosperity of the soul. Let's take a closer look at the verse. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Some people may be prospering in their soul, but are neither prospering physical nor materially. I am referring to Christians who are doing well, upright and forthright in all their affairs. Yet they are sick and financially broke. But the Spirit of God says, I wish you will prosper in your health and finances just as your spirit is prospering. Hallelujah. Such folks must believe in material and physical prosperity so their lives will be balanced. Hallelujah. That is what God wants a balanced spiritual life. The last part of the verse refers to the prosperity of your soul, which is spiritual and has the priority. God wants you to prosper materially or financially. Then He also wants you to be in health. Healing is good, but when you are in health, you don't need healing because you don't get sick. Hallelujah. What's the secret to this life of out and out prosperity? How can you prosper in your spirit, soul, and body? The Bible says, Let the word of God, the word of Christ, dwells in you richly. Praise the Lord. Colossians 3 16. If the word of God is in you richly, you will prosper spiritually and therefore physically and materially too because the lesser is included in the greater praise the Lord give yourself fully to the world study and meditate on the world keep it inside you until it pours out of your mouth always and in any situation praise the Lord what a wonderful topic this morning complete prosperity and it's so simple today message is we 
I get it and I hope you get it. It's only but if you want to prosper physically, spiritually, materially, it's by the word of God, studying the word of God. Hallelujah. That is why I say we have inheritance in the Bible, praise the Lord. That is the way you can prosper spiritually, physically, and materially. That is it. That is simple. Wow. That is why I say today's message is so short. Today's message is so direct, praise the Lord. If you want to, because that is God's, God's word. It's in the Bible. He said, I wish above all things that that means prosper being helped. You can only find such word in the Bible, praise the Lord. Even as that so prosper. So if you know these things about your creator, if you know this is what God wishes you, and that is the life you have, praise the Lord. So when you see something that is not of God, you just detect it. Because why? You know the word, you know what God wants to see in your life, and you begin to rebuke it. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. What a wonderful topic this morning. So without this, say, let's say the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, you have given me all around prosperity. I am prospering spiritually, financially, and I am healthy, vibrant and strong. I am standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by your design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruit of righteousness ever blessed ever luscious in jesus name amen for that study you can look at psalm 35 verse 27 this says let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause yea let them say continually let the lord be magnified which hath pleasure in prosperity of his servants praise the lord and also proverb 10 22 also tells you the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich and he had it no sorrow with it. Hallelujah. Psalm 1 verse 3 says, He will be standing from firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruit in every season of life. So if your life is not reflecting this, know that something is wrong and start facing it by growing with the world. Study your Bible, grow with the world. And start putting the words to use in your life, praise the Lord. Well, on your Bible reading plan, you can look at Acts 27, verse 27 to 44, Psalm 23 to 25. To your Bible reading plan, Ephesians 1, verse 1 to 14, and Isaiah 42. So, at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures so you'll be the best in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. What a wonderful topic to start our beautiful Friday. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want to use this opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, there's an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me. Hallelujah. Oh Lord God, I believe it on my heart. In Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe it's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born of Him. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my child of God. Praise to the Lord. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are my child of God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. Thank you for nourishing us with your word. And thank you, Father, for today, for making it a success. Thank you for this week. It has been a glorious week for us, Lord. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for giving us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Father, we give you all the praise. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for super abundance. Thank you for our daily bread. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous Friday and happy weekend to you. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.